somewhat of a tradition at the start of men's volleyball season for Purdue Fort Wayne. Eight seconds of silence and uh, thought instituted by head coach Ryan Parrott. And now I think we're about ready to go, Steve. And that is going to uh, that is going to be a point right out of the gate for Thomas Moore. Correct. That eight seconds uh, is the time you're allowed to make a serve, and it immediately gives a point to Thomas Moore. So here we go. Oh, nice dig by Mark Frazier, and the point goes to Purdue Fort Wayne. To tie the match at one apiece, John Dietrich. What a year he had a season ago. 33 service aces, and in his first serve of 2024, he picks up another one. Well, maybe that can be an omen to the start of the season right there. His first, first earned point is a uh, service ace for Don Dietrich. All right. I, I told John I thought he has grown over the summer. I think he looks taller than 6'8". Guess what? Another service ace. 3-1 Purdue Fort Wayne. Well, that's a good start. Always coming out early with a couple quick points. Little too amped up service error. Well, two aces to one error is a very good ratio. True. If you've not watched men's volleyball before, it can tend to be a high error, uh, high service error sport. Ben Albers serving for Thomas Moore. Dietrich tried to put it down and was thwarted. But on the joust, point goes to the Mastodons. Well, new hands on the floor for the Dons. Andre Palamats. New setter, freshman setter for the Dons. Mark Frazier. He looks so different with a shorter haircut and a mustache from so a season. <laughs> we may see a challenge here. Uh, they called a net violation, but they called it on Thomas Moore. Um, of course, Thomas Moore is talking to the down official, thinking that it was on the follow through of Mark Frazier. And um, looks like we may have a challenge. They're going to go ahead and challenge it right off the bat. First challenge of the season. From my angle, it was really hard to tell. It looks, you know, whenever you see somebody hit an overpass and uh -huh. then you see the net go, a lot of times you think it's on the follow through of the person hit, hitting the overpass. But Mark Frazier is emphatically saying it was the, uh, the player challenging him at the net. And it looks like actually. That's a tough angle if the antenna's kind of in the way. And they were really Challenge quick to call successful. it. You know, we don't have all the angles that the uh, officiating crew has, and for them to call it that quickly, uh, they must have had a really good look at it. But right away, a lot of times in that play, you do think it's a person hitting the overpass. Score now stands, Purdue Fort Wayne, five. Thomas Moore, three. Axel Melendez Watts. Rock said he's playing on the right side this year as opposed to the left. He serves. Oh, nice swing on the left side by Mason Culver, a 6'5 senior from Zionsville, Indiana. Really good swing. Had the line, took it. You're going to get a good view here of what he had as far as space goes. Kind of an outside in angle, dropping it just in front of zone six. Just long the serve from Luke Duncan, a 6'6 freshman out of Houston, Texas. Makes our score 6 4. Mastodon's on top. Opening set of the 2024 season for Purdue Fort Wayne. Deep serve by Frazier. Cut shot wide left. 
coming from uh, Jacob Scherfrance, six seven freshman out of Louisville, Kentucky. Do Fort Wayne now with a three point lead. Frazier throws a high in the air. Setter becomes attacker, but Melendez Watts with the dig. Uber Hernandez at the barrel spot, saving the day. Dietrich over a double block. Just long was the block attempt. That was, <laughs> that was more, that was self-defense on the side of Thomas Moore. <laughs> And really close play. Yeah. Some good defense on Thomas Moore's side. Frazier again with the serve. And this time he serves it into his side of the net. So it makes our score eight to five. Mastodon's on top. And well, with the freshman setter on the floor, it'll be interesting to see the connection the hitters have with the setter, uh, always takes some adjustment. Wow. And that's a good sign. Sure if is. A, if the setter can connect with the middle early on like that, the Dons could be in good shape. Now getting ready for his first serve of the season, Bryce Walker, a 6'8". Middle out of Bartlett, Illinois, a senior. That's a great set Melendez right there. Melendez Watts off the hands of Duncan. Really Ten. beautiful set there by Paula Mott's. Uh, did a nice job of just wristing the ball back, really not showing where he's going to go with it. High contact and just a flick of the wrist behind. Boom. Great tempo. Melendez up on time. And off the touch, Ben Albers gets the kill. That brings uh, Thomas Good job Moore by Alberts powering, powering through the seam. Tell you, he looks like he could play in the offensive line. Dietrich, right at sure, France. So interesting run there, Dietrich on almost a middle type tempo set. So here's the 6'5 freshman from Serbia, Pulomak, <coughs> with a deep jump serve. Overpass on the return, what do we got? We got a net violation. It's going to be uh, going to be on Connor Young, setter trying to rescue that pass and just went in the net. Another deep serve by Pulamak, who gets a nice dig in the backcourt. Dietrich over a double block, rejected. Will Buskin, a 6'3 sophomore out of Cincinnati in the right place at the right time for TMU. Yeah, really good job by Thomas Moore. Uh, setting that block, Connor Young, the setter uh, on the right side there. His job is to read that set and push the middle blocker in. He did a good job there. Now Young with the running jump serve, unfortunately into his side of the net. That is the third service error on Thomas Moore in this set. 13-7, Purdue Fort Wayne on top. John Dietrich with the serve. Hello to the Dietrich clan in the states of Florida and Louisiana. Melinda's watch dug out by Albers. Defensive return, free ball chance, Thomas Moore. Nice set. Unfortunately, the swing just a tad yeah, long. Just a little high. By Duncan. It was a good heads-up play. Uh, Connor Young, the setter for Thomas Moore, got caught up in that transition from defense to to uh, to setting. Put a free ball on his path. He had to take it. 
really nice job there by uh, Eli Chambers, the libero, to uh, read that real quick and make a nice back set. Momentary delay while the shoelace was being retied. There was some question about a potential four hits on the Macedon side. Cleared up quickly. Overpass. Okay, and that's going to be an invasion call. Uh, back row setter going up to try and rescue a ball that went over the plane. Point to the Dons. That brings us to a media timeout. So we'll break in the action here at Arnie Ball Court with our first set score. Purdue Fort Wayne 50. And waiting to get to go. And now here we go. Thomas Moore been struggling with their first touch. We'll see if after the timeout they can get it together a little bit. And they do. Good pass. And block attempt wide right by uh, Caden Fostick, a 6'6 freshman from Middleton, Wisconsin. Nice recovery there out of the timeout, getting a good pass and a good swing. Albers with the serve. Melendez Watts long on his swing from the right side. Two really points in a row. For really Thomas like Moore. that. I really like that set choice though by Palamats. Uh, nice job of reversing the flow as we say, kicking it across. Does it again. And Melendez Watts hitting the ball with authority. Well, first looks at the new setter for the Dons, looking good. He keeps his hands in a really good neutral position, hard to read, and then just uses his wrist to direct the ball. Really excellent work. Nice block by Frazier. Melinda's watch at the three meter line, rejected. Walker with the block. And off the touch, Thomas Moore with the point. They are now in double digits. Trailing the set 16 to 10. Again, we played a 25 win by two. Will Buskin to serve. And that goes into the net. Service error number four. We should mention that Thomas Moore has already played two matches. They uh, played Ball State, were swept, and they defeated Wabash College. Melendez Watts with the deep serve. Oh, Bryce that's a play. Walker. <laughs> Hanging up there a little bit. Ball little, stayed up there. A little bit of a fly swatter. He bats it down. 18-10, our first set score. Melendez Watts again serving from right to left. Oh, point Thomas Moore. John Dietrich dove to his left, made contact. But yeah, nice swing by Luke Duncan. Really climbed the ladder, got a high hands over the top of the block. Really elevated. Very good swing. Duncan serving once again. Float serve. Received by Frazier. Walker, quick hitter, denied. Frazier tip shot. That's a really nice change of pace. Uh, Thomas Moore has been doing a nice job of sitting and picking up some really hard driven balls and really nice change of pace by Mark Frazier. Um, a nice thing to see about Mark Frazier is as a right side, he did not do too much serve receive last year. So Thomas Moore maybe having that uh, scouting report going after him early. And, and as a left side, he's going to require to pass a lot more serve and he's handling it pretty well right now. Deep serve by Frazier. And Mason Culver will get credit for a kill. 19-12 now, our first set score. Mastodon's on top. Saints serving in the person of Mason Culver. Deep serve was received. A little bit of mistiming. Yeah, well, you know, um, going for a kind of tough set. Yeah, a little bit of mistiming between a setter and the middle. Um, but yeah, it was a kind of a high degree of difficulty set. 
pulling off the net, trying to push it back into the middle. A little change of pace, serve that time. And Pulling the pineapple. <laughs> wow. If Loy Ball's watching right now, he'd be very proud. That is uh, a shot that uh, when Loy played, he, he referred to as the pineapple. It's when the setter takes his right hand and pushes it to the deep zone five corner and scores. Walker with a line drive serve. Overpass on the receive. Frazier, nice dig by Eli Chambers. Frazier again. The tempo on the backs, uh, on the sets out of the back row, uh, Bix and Blues, really, really good from Paul Amatz. 21-13, now our first set score. Walker throws it high in the air. And a little miss hit by Culver. A Walker is really a very good server for, especially for his position. Oftentimes, middles are not your strongest servers on a volleyball team. Um, they're really meant to be block blockers and hitters. But every now and then, you get some middles that can really serve. And Bryce Walker is definitely one of them. Bryce had 42 service aces last season. Uh, I, I think I jinxed him, though. Found the jet stream <laughs> here in Ernie Ball Court. Ernie Ball Court named in uh, honor of the very first men's volleyball coach here at uh, the University, the Hall of Famer. He and his wife Sandy are in the crowd tonight. And in to serve will be Matt Gagnon. Again, he's a 5'7 junior from LaSalle High School in Cincinnati. One step punch serve, if you will. And as Watts dug out by Gagnon. Dietrich, yes. <laughs> Dietrich with his third kill. Could really just kind of went up and ripped it. Nice angle on that, just inside the block. Put a lot of heat on it. Purdue Fort Wayne, two points away from taking the opening set. And that was uh, by Albers. trouble off the first touch. Second touch was a little more difficult, and Albers had a lot of trouble handling that ball. Anybody really would have. Tough ball way outside. So where you are at set point. Palomac with the serve. Again, overpass on the receive. And Mark Frazier mishit it. Yeah, just maybe maybe ever so slightly under set on that um you know one of those if you're the hitter you're in motion and you're swinging hard one to make an adjustment on kind of young to serve left to right and he goes long and the service there will end the opening set of this match set one in the books it goes to the home team on the scoreboard the purdue fort wayne mastodons by a score of 25 to 15. The teams will switch ends and we'll come. You mentioned a new setter, also a new libero in the person of uh, graduate senior Wilmer Hernandez out of Vega Baja, Vega Baja, Puerto Rico. And I thought he did well as uh, he had three digs out of the nine total. So here we go with set two. Thomas Moore serving first from right to left. And right off the bat, uh, Palomac the setter became Palomac the attacker. Getting the kill, one nothing Mastodons. And now he will serve. Again, Andre, a 6'5 freshman from Serbia, and he gets an ace to the dismay of everybody on Thomas Moore. And and it looks like there's going to be a challenge. Oh, here it is. Second. 
So that ties the set at one apiece. And it looks like Ben Albers will serve for Thomas Moore. Nice dig by Connor Young. Big swing yep. from uh, Frazier yeah, beyond we, the three meter line. We haven't seen the Dons really at a system to that degree tonight. And it's wondering what it's gonna look like uh, with a back set coming from off the court. And uh, Frazier went up with no fear. He put a good hand contact the ball, nice swing. Dietrich with the serve. And coming right back, Matt Gagnon on the right side off the touch. Fast tempo set, powering that ball through a triple block, wasn't completely formed and uh, got the benefit of the deflection. Tied it to Will Buskin serving. Coming right back is Caden uh, Fostick. Freshman to freshman. That's a good sign. Good. Always like to see freshmen contributing early. Lots of opportunities with nine freshmen on the roster. Yeah, yep. And as soon as we say that, Fostick, <laughs> a freshman, commits a service error. And uh, we actually have a, a new libero stepping in a serve receive here for the Dons. Uh, Andrew Meyer. A 6'3 freshman out of Indianapolis. Overpass on the receive. Big swing by Frazier on the left side. Good run of the, we call that a gap go combination. Really tough to defend because the middle's got to stay there and, and hold on that middle and then you just kind of kick it right over top of the middle to a, a player who's also up in tempo. Well run there, especially on a tight play. Everyone packed together closely. Melendez Watts commits team service error number seven. And two in a row, so there's gonna be one, they're gonna wanna have some awareness coming around on that next serve. Mason Culver to serve at 4-4 here in the second set. A little bit of a tight Look, pass. Yeah. A little bit of luck, too. Yeah, Polymets goes back and uh, kind of rescues it, and Bryce Walker hung just enough to redirect that ball. Frazier to serve. Young. Setting up Good dig Duncan. by Frazier. Dietrich tries to go down the line, but Culver denies him. Left side, Dietrich off of two arms. Gives Purdue Fort Wayne a six to four lead. Like a little chicken wing or shoulder dig there on the middle attack. Dietrich's doing a nice job uh, from his point, uh, swinging on a nice angle, cutting the ball inside of an established block. Showing good range already. Long. Service error. We'll give the serve back to Thomas Moore. Saints with the chance to tie the set at six. Sure, France with the serve. Dietrich on the left side. Just past a diving Luke Duncan. Still getting that inside angle. See if Thomas Moore makes adjustments. Actually, he went through the seam there. Apologies. Middle blocker was late. Dietrich had the seam. Price Walker serving at 7 to 5. And that's going to be almost. <laughs> I was wondering whether we were going to get hit, whether the camera, the uh, monitor was going to get thrashed, but it hit the support and saved us. <laughs> And that support is just barely over surface of play, so it is in play. If that was about a foot more over our table, it would be considered out of play. Young 
Left side, Albers. The dig attempt by Melendez Watts, too strong, too long. Really good run there. Nice, uh, nice tempo on that set by Connor Young. Good, good speed to the outside, and Albers is able to get wide of the block and drill it down the line. Young, a 5'10 graduate student, transfer from Princeton University, now with the serve. Miscommunication nearly cost Purdue Fort Wayne. And the swing from Dietrich is just long. That's three points in a row, and don't look now, Thomas Moore down by just one, eight to seven. And uh, we're gonna have a challenge from Coach Parat. He's thinking there was, looks like, well, the hand signal by the down official was a net violation. I thought if he was challenging, he might challenge a touch. But the hand signal by the down official was that Rock was challenging a, a net violation, obviously, on Thomas Moore. But we'll see what they come back with. There are three other matches involving MIVA schools tonight on this Friday. And uh, the Illinois suburbs of St. Louis, McKendry defeated North Central in straight sets, 25-17, 26-24, Lewis playing Central State of Ohio. They won the first set 25-10, leading the second set 13-2. And at nine o'clock Fort Wayne time, Ball State will be in Provo, Utah to take on the Cougars from BYU. And uh, the challenge was honored and uh, point goes to the Dons. Indeed, there was a net violation according to the down official. So it's nine to six and is that a Net, net violation, I mm. think, on Connor Young. Yep, net violation. He had to try and go rescue that pass, and back was in the net. Um, Thomas Moore uh, still struggling to handle these um, high-powered jump serves, um, forcing a lot of tight or over passes. Young goes to the right. Albers denied by Fosdick. Second chance, yes. Albers bringing a lot of fire to the court for Thomas Moore, uh, both with his hitting, and he's showing a lot of passion out there. You and I are thinking the same <laughs> way. <laughs> well, you know, he had to muscle this ball, just kind of try and beat the block, and he did a great job. And now he gets to serve. Little hook on the serve. Dietrich, straight down from the right side. Again, that's what a fast tempo set will do. It'll get that ball past the block and give a, give a good look down the line to the hitter. And you saw that when Albers had a good line swing for Thomas Moore and just saw that right there. And Dietrich, again, preseason second team All-American with the serve. And a little misconnection on the part of Thomas Moore. Yeah, I think that ball was meant, I'm, you know, it looked like it was trying to go outside, but looked like it could have been meant for the middle, but either way it was kind of a miss, miss set. Dietrich serving at 12 to seven. That's and he'll a get a service <laughs> ace. That's a, that's a straight rip right there. That is service ace number three and to play and got to do a match, I believe it was three years ago, maybe four years ago from there. So welcome to the MIVA Queens. Welcome back to this match in Fort Wayne. 13-7, Purdue Fort Wayne, second set. Albers tries to punch it in the back. Rejected. And they're gonna call the uh, blocker on Thomas Moore for uh, touching the set before the setter could set it. Uh, saying the way that call can be made is they have to say that the ball was in the plane of both teams. Okay. If that ball was over on Thomas Moore's side, then they can play it. Young staying to his right and off the touch. It'll be a kill for Luke Duncan. That brings the Saints to within six. They trail the set 14 to eight. Thomas Moore is getting uh, more opportunities to run an offense and they're taking more aggressive swings and getting some good action off of them. Nice cut shot by Frazier from left to right. 
Steve, we talk about the Mastodons having nine freshmen on their roster. Well, Thomas Moore has seven freshmen yeah. on theirs. Bostic with the serve. Good set. Somewhat easy pickings for well, Mark yeah. Frazier. Well, it was an excellent set. I mean, it was a you know a free ball pass basically, and uh, Bryce Walker, uh, you know, a really intimidating middle is up and easily could have been set, and uh, Palomat sets over top of him to the single block. And again, back. yeah, Thomas Moore taking some fearless swings. Jacob Scherfrance winning the duel at the front of the net. They're playing aggressively when they have the opportunity. It really is uh, relying on their first touch. Duncan with the serve from right to left. Gallant effort uh, by both Duncan and Chambers, but it's a point for Purdue Fort Wayne to go up 17 to nine. Melendez Watts to serve. Axel Melendez Watts at Ayaku, Puerto Rico. Well, I don't know if that hit the top of the net. The play continues, and then Frazier knocks it home. Well, good scrappy effort by Thomas Moore, but an easy put away for the Dons. See the replay. You, know, you like to see that fight in your team. I mean, that's a tough play no matter what, but good fight by Thomas Moore. Young. Nice return by Walker. Big swing from Duncan. Again, I, I like the aggressiveness out of Thomas Moore. They're not playing scared. I like it. Luke Duncan now with five kills in the match. Culver with the serve. Wide left. What's it about this facility, Steve? You <laughs> see a lot of serves either catch the jet stream, we can blame uh, Coach Ball for that, <laughs> but they also go sidewards. Well, I mean, I think that was player player error and not facility error on that. <laughs> <laughs> now coming off the bench, making his first appearance, a 6'3 freshman from London, England. I hope I pronounce his name correctly. Peter. Uh, let me double check so I don't screw it up. If I can find it. So Chef So Keska So Kefka And he commits a service there. Likewise, Jacob Scherfranz does the same. So our second set score is twenty to eleven. Walker to serve. Long. Two teams have now combined for 17 service errors. 10 by the Mastodons, 7 by the Saints. Mastodon's aggressive serving is producing a ton of overpasses or aces. So the reward is, uh, the risk is worth the reward for the Dons right now. Young, long on his serve. And you know, you also afford yourself the aggressiveness. Service line. In general, the Dons have been able to pass their serves pretty well, allowing them to swing aggressively off service eve. Not sure if that was a block by Fostic. It must have been. That's what's been ruled. Or a miss hit. In any event, it's now 22-12. Fort Wayne on top. O 
Overpass on the receive, and John Dietrich said, let me take it. You know, I mean, what you have here is a situation where the Dons, when they go to practice, they're serving at one another. These are big, heavy, powerful jump serves, and I really haven't seen that same kind of firepower come from the end line for Thomas Moore, so they don't get practice passing a serve of this caliber. Service error. Makes it 23-13. Ben Albers to serve. Wide right, the swing by, I believe, Frazier. As a middle attack of Fosdick, uh, I like it. Freshman going after it, just missed. Good swing. And it's a nice Fosdick repeat comes set. Right back. Yeah, nice repeat set there. That's, um, although Palomats is a uh, freshman, he certainly carries himself a lot more experience than a freshman. And that's an experienced play right there. Okay, you made a hitting error. It was a good swing. You just missed by an inch. Let me give it to you again, give you a chance to prove yourself. John Dietrich serves it into the net at set point number one. But the Dons are still up 24 to 15. And it looks like it'll be Matt Gagnon to serve for Thomas Moore. Left side and off the touch. It's a little better. Pull him off the net. Don't try and make perfect passes. Um, pass on the attack line. Bring the ball 10 feet off the net and let our setters work. New faces in the Purdue Fort Wayne lineup. They go from right to left. Andre Palomac with the serve to start set number three. And a miss hit on the left side from Ben Albers, one nothing Mastodons. Tell you some of the new players on the floor momentarily. Palomac again, a high toss on the right side. Young setting up Albers, denied by Palomac. Left-handed swing from catcher Stewart, a 6'6 freshman from Winter Park, Florida. Big opportunity yep. here for some freshmen to prove themselves. And you got Casey Lyons yep. on the floor too in the middle, all the way over here from Hawaii. Peter Socheska. Nice block attempt by Will Buskin, but it goes just wide left. Quick three nothing start for Purdue Fort Wayne. Catcher wasting no time, taking some big swings, and that's what you got to do when you get the chance to play. You got to show you, you you deserve it. And he's wasting no time doing that. Oh, the fortuitous bounce for Palomac. A little bit of overspin, hit the top of the net and spun over on the other side. And that score, Purdue Fort Wayne on top of Thomas Moore. Match number one for Purdue Fort Wayne, match number three for Thomas Moore to start this 2024 campaign coming out of a TMU timeout. Albers dug out by Andrew Meyer. Nice rally, Josso at the net and putting it home is Will Buskin for the Thomas Moore Saints. So they are on the board. And there's there's uh, there's definitely firepower on the Thomas Moore side. They just need to access it. Mike, I'm glad we got the first call. <laughs> <laughs> Service error would give the point and the serve right back to the Mastodons. Now up five to one. John Dietrich, spinning serve, but it's wide left. John is the heart and soul of this Purdue Fort Wayne team, without a doubt. Definitely brings a good fire to the court, good passion. 
Uh, definitely has leadership capabilities. Nice block by Mason Culver. Yeah, really good, and lined it up really well. Let the ball come to him. Good press. Good adjustment on the lefty there. As, uh, as a lefty catcher, Stewart's left arm is going to be inside, and small adjustment blockers have to make. Coming right back off the touch. Sochevska with the, yeah, Sochevska with the <laughs> really gutsy swing. Gets the outside hands. Hits the, you see there, it's the elbow of the blocker. Nice line swing. It's a great, you know, outside hitters, a lot of outside hitters uh, don't do what they can to hit that shot. And uh, foot fault called on the serve. Casey Lines is a 6'7 freshman from Miliani, Hawaii. He committed the foot fault. Again, one of nine freshmen on this Mastodon roster. Miss hit by Dietrich. Flying in to the middle of the net. Two quick points for Thomas Moore now trailing the set six to five. Well, a lot of new hitters on the floor for Paul Mott's to work with here. And a lot of them are freshmen, so there's gonna be some maybe connection issues there. Uh, it goes gets real different when you go from setting, you know, fifth year seniors and yeah. juniors and seniors to setting freshmen, um, just the connection needs to develop over time, and it's not been a lot of time yet there. Dietrich. <laughs> John has this fire in him. Well, you know, he, he didn't like his last swing he took, so it was, it was a nice job by Palamats to get the ball back to him and give him a chance to uh, take that same swing, but this time execute it the way he wanted. Catcher Stewart with the left-handed serve. Nice set by Polomots. Really, that's a, that's a good swing. That's a tough ball. That set had to be lifted really high based on the pass. And Polomots actually had to kind of decelerate, jump straight up. Uh, sorry, Sachevska had to decelerate, jump straight up, and, and take a still, still add power to the ball. Stewart, service ace. That is the sixth service ace of the night for Purdue Fort Wayne. Kind of hooks it in, big high loopy top spin, and drops. A, a serve that high though oftentimes is going out, but just dropped in. Stewart, Albers receives the serve. Culver off the touch, point Thomas Moore. They trail this third set nine to seven. Trail the match two sets to none, but they're not giving up as Luke Duncan gets ready to serve left to right across your screen. Hernandez setting up. So Chefka. And so Chefs is going to get that touch, and I kind of like what he's bringing to the court. He is really not afraid to swing for that outside hand. He's already had a couple kills where where he's gotten the outside hand of the blocker. You see, he just gets some fingertips there. But uh, that's that's a great tool to have, is hitting that, hitting that tool shot. Service ace for the freshman. 11-7, our third set score. Another ace. So and Cheska that's the, having know, a big yeah. smile on his face. Yeah. Well, he's out like, you know, if I'm a freshman, I'm out there playing as hard as I can, trying to show Coach Parat I can do it. And he's, he's executing right now. No reason not to smile. Took something off on the serve. Dietrich puts it away. For kill number 10. Macedon's up by six, 13 a, to yeah. seven. Isn't that a cool idea there by Sachevska to kind of change the tempo of his serve, drop it, uh, drop in a short serve. 
and he goes back and too rips one home. just a little too long. But, you know, we call that yo-yo serving, where you can serve it deep and then short, then deep again. And nice, uh, nice volleyball IQ for a freshman to go ahead and give that a try. Not bad at all. Start serving, you're up by three. You stop serving, you're up by two. Five points later, and a service error. And it'll be interesting to see, um, you know, when Thomas Moore uh, is putting their serve in play, who they're targeting. They they were really going after Frazier while he was in, but he's not in anymore. So it'll be interesting to see if they go after Freshman or Libero. Emmanuel Jerniak injured early last year, but boy, he's got springs in his legs. Hopefully totally healthy. Committed the service error, but he's going to be fun to watch this year. Yeah, very athletic, easy off the ground. It's good to have him back. Casey Lyons with the quick swing. Almost a windmill type swing. Uh, really good set. Lyons in just a little tight on that. So uh, Paula Mott's had to thread the needle. And uh, but Temple was great and Lyons was ready to rip on it. Service error, however. So the Saints are in double figures. They trail this third set 15 to 10. Casey Young, their setter, will serve. Dietrich dug out by Culver. It's a good dig there nice by Hernandez. Nice hustle. End up being a Saint Point. I know there's no such thing as a moral victory, but you got to give Thomas more credit. They're not giving up, and they're picking up some points. Absolutely, you know. Hey, you got some freshmen on the floor now. Coach Pratt's trying out some lineups. Hey, go get them. But there's a graduate senior that's still on the floor. <laughs> Just picked up his 11th kill in his 18th swing. Once again, hello to the Dietrich family. Most of them based in Florida. Older brother Richie, a former Mastodon in uh, New Orleans now. Shoulder dig, if you will. It's one of the longer rallies of this match. Tip shot, tip shot, point Thomas Moore. Good choice there uh, after a couple hard swings. I like that choice to kind of ease it up. Paul Amat's uh, setter right back. Setters aren't always known for their, their great defense. And so testing a setter, see if he'll come up and pick up a tip. Dietrich on the fly. And that swing is successful. I'm really liking that tempo on the uh, on the Bic. They seem to have it dialed in. Of course, it's Frazier and it's yeah. uh, Melinda's Watts and it's Dietrich hitting that ball, so upperclassmen. Good hustle by Young, Colvert. Backcourt dig by Dietrich. Chambers with the dig for TMU. One hand dig by Dietrich. Finally, Sachevska. And you know, just some fearless swings out of Sachevska over there. Tight set, let's just rip it and block didn't press. And uh, he was able to find some daylight. Lions with a serve. Nice block. Jerniak timing it just yep. right, reading it right. Good eye work by Jerniak, getting ready for the back row attack. I'm going to have a timeout on Thomas Moore's timeout side. Timeout called by Thomas Moore. It'll get no footfall, but a surface error, <laughs> unfortunately. These, as you, you coaches like to say, are learning moments. Yeah. Substitution, uh, Matt Gagnon. And just to you know, give you an idea of just how good of a server Bryce Walker is. I mean, 
Casey Lyons in the middle, two service errors. Uh, Jerniak went back, had a service error. Yeah. So, you know, you really, it's, it's a tough skill for middles typically, so you really get an appreciation for Walker's serve. And speaking of Jerniak. <laughs> no problem there, though. Makes it 20 to 13 in favor of Purdue Fort Wayne. He's just so easy off the ground, and he elevates way high. Put a good pop on that ball. It's a, it's a corny adjective, but it almost looks like he floats. Yeah. Young, Jerniak with a block. Culver, yes. Between Finds, yeah. Dietrich and Andrew Meyer, the libero. Finds a seam there in between uh, Sachevska and, and Jerniak. So it is 20 to 14, and what do we got here? Tabin Kari, K-A-H-R-E, a six foot freshman out of Carmel Park Tudor High School, two hours south of Fort Wayne, is in to serve. Well, we have, uh, we have made two subs here, maybe a, a setter sub and a serving sub. And it uh, looks like there's some discussion with the down official and uh, who is the next server and who is who subbing for who. So Kauri is going to serve. Yeah, there was a little mix up on who went in for who. Dominic and Rossi they straightened it out. is the other person in question, and he's on the front of the net. Yeah, when you go in, you, you typically exchange for the person you're going in for, and I think they mixed that up and with some discussion, we're able to straighten it out and say actually he was going in for him and he was going in for him. All cleared up and here we go. Good serve. Again, point for <laughs> <laughs> Fort Wayne. Sachevska just uh, making good use of the block and um, you know, that's a really good skill to have. It's undefendable if you can tool the block, to ricochet it out of bounds, it's, it's hard to dig, so. Crafty volleyball. Culver dug out in the backcourt. Dietrich over a triple block. Well, I gotta tell you, that's a that's a really difficult volleyball play right there. Good dig by Sachevska, but drew the libero off the court. Libero is setting the ball from off the court, from behind Dietrich almost, and Dietrich is able to still take a full-on rip on the ball. That's that's really good. Ooh, a little bit of luck in the serve over. Good swing from Rossi off the shoulder. And it's 22-15. Kind of a flat serve, not much top spin on it. Um, not where you expect it to go. You expect that ball to dive down. And I think Meyer, <laughs> watching Meyer, he realizes I think that ball was going out. But sometimes it's hard to get out of the way of it. Side, nice dig by Kavri. Defensive return, free ball chance, Purdue Fort Wayne. Oh, good hustle. Albers keeping it alive. Jerniak says enough is enough. Jerniak, uh, it's really cool when you see a middle uh, do what Jerniak did, just pass his own uh, free ball and then go up and demand the ball and take a good swing on it. And uh, first action for Raul Papaleo Jr. Famous name in these parts. His dad is hanging across the gym on the banner from where his son is serving. And a member of the Mastodon Hall of Fame. Quick hitter from Sure France. And they're gonna leave uh, Papaleo on the floor to pass some serve. Sure, France. Short toss. Dietrich. And now we have come to match point. Eight match points for the Purdue Fort Wayne Mastodons. They are up 24 to 16.
Davy Singer, hello to mom and dad back in Huntington Beach, California. He has come off the bench to serve for the match. A little jump, serves, gonna be a service ace. How about that? And this match is over. Purdue Fort Wayne wins the third set, 25 to 16. They win the match by set scores of 25-15.